Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12. Now we ask you, brothers, to respect those who work hard among you, who are over you in the Lord, and who admonish you. This is a request from the Apostle Paul. He said that there are people among you that are working really hard, serving you ministering to you so this was uh, uh see the condition of these people that are around us friends they are not working for themselves they are not uh, serving themselves they are serving us so that there are people among you that are serving you they are working hard so respect them and these people are also over you they are watching over you they are praying for you so honor them Respect them. And there are people also that would admonish us. Same thing, friends. Let's give respect to whom respect is due and honor to whom honor is due. And they deserve our respect, friends. As I said, they are not working for themselves. They are working for us, friends. Uh, they are doing it sacrificially, praying for us, spending time, hours, spending time for us praying for us so let's honor and respect them respect requires friends that uh, we listen to them consider the advice seriously receive the admonition that's respecting our our brothers and sisters that are working up among us so friends my prayer that each one of us will respond to this that uh, let us uh, consider them amen let's not disregard uh, their uh, uh, their advice their, the work that they do let's not disrespect them uh, belittling the work or the words that they say well a lot of them they are not as well of us as we are but still it's not a reason for us to look down on them they may not be as educated as we are but again friends they are God sent a servant to minister unto us. You know, friends, God honors the prayers of those that he sent to minister unto us. And so even the simple prayer that they can offer to us, friends, welcome it. Amen. Don't disrespect them, friends, by turning your back from them or disregarding their prayers or their advice. No. Listen. The Lord could use them. In fact, the Lord can use anything to speak to us, including a donkey. Remember Balaam, how God had used a donkey to speak to him, to rebuke him? So God can use any of these workers, friends. So again, let's uh, acknowledge them in our midst. Respect them. Lift them up uh, in our prayers too. Uh, that they may continue to serve you and uh, to, uh, to minister unto you. So friends, this is... Uh, something that we get to consider today think about those who are ministering to you working hard among us well thank god for them amen and let's respect them show them our love show them our appreciation and when we do that friends then they will be encouraged to give their best so that is the role of each one of us who are being served and let us also allow ourselves to be a, ser a servant to others. Amen. Let's multiply them. If they are a blessing to us and we are ministered to by them, well, it's time now for us also to minister to others. And that's the only time, friends, that you would appreciate what respect means when you are yourself now doing the work. And see, friends, how they are, uh, they are being uh, uh, mistreated sometimes. And you will feel it too. How you wish that they will respect you. So before that happens, respect them. Because in respecting others, you will also be respected. Amen. And so friends, pray that God will use us in a special way, in a powerful way, to encourage those that are serving among us. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And lift up His countenance on you and give you His Shalom. His peace. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.